So I say the Premier League referees and the officials don't have control of the the tools, the instruments of the technological instruments named VAR. The way they, they use that, they make a pandemonium, a din, a fracas, a chaos, and a havoc. And uh, they they don't have command and control of that at all, you know. So this the, the tools is misused, you know. So it's mis they are they are guided by by the the tools. They don't have control. They are underneath. They are like puppets, and in the hands of a real master when they they use the VR because they don't navigate it. They they don't drive. You know they are driven. They act, they, they, they act like pawns uh, in the hands of uh, someone bigger, you know. So, um, <laughs> every single time uh, uh, a ref has uh, taken a decision, a right decision uh, through a VR, it's always been uh, a, a stroke of luck, a fluke, you know, a, a blinder, you, you know, it's always been so lucky you know so um because uh, the manner in which we are is uh, is uh, using the premier league is uh, is pathetic it's terrible you know so um as i said it's uh it's beyond the trash you know so what can i say more on that i, I don't know it's uh the rest and the, if we have to carry on like this if to carry on like this using VR in this with the apology of man the apology of way um, disallowing goals after a, a, a consult of uh, 9 minutes uh, and adding 10 minutes of extra time if VR VR should be uh, an upgrade, not a downgrade. In this case, VR is a huge downgrade, you know. So, um, it's uh, it generates uh, havoc, uh, generates confusion. It's like a land of confusion, you know. So, uh, it's um, it's impossible. And breath becomes so confrontational when you have to consult. Check uh, the VR. Take a look at the VR. You become co- irrational, confrontational. Um, they, they, what, what to cure? They, they, they when they, they check uh, because they become arrogant. Uh, um, they, they take strange decisions. They make strange, quirky, bizarre, peculiar decisions. So this is a rot. You ultra rot and it's a rot and it's a you have to and and a break you know so um as I said a, a ref is a pawn in a, the hand of uh, a master uh, they are beneath uh, the control of the situation you know they. They are at the mercy of the situation. They are, they are at bay. They can't uh, control anything, you know. So this is uh, this is crazy. This, this is uh, uh, I've terminated on my lexicon, on my vocabulary, on my lexical resources to express what I think, what I assume, what I assume, what I presume regarding the VAR used in this manner in the Premier League, you know, so um, the VAR um, VR ref should uh, stop uh, the stop counting, stop, for example, there is a situation in which uh, um, like I said, no, I'm confused now. I'm puzzled. It's a basket case of situation. Uh, we are using, use utilizing this manner without command and control of anyone, you know. So, uh, refs, if refs and officials are succubus of the VAR, we instead of uh, take, take action, uh, 
and you're using it uh, like an inst uh, a precious instrument, uh, precious tool. Uh, it's uh, ban banishing it would be a reasonable decision, a reasonable uh, outlook in order to stop. Uh, uh, how to say? How to say more? You know, just and to stop this controversy, this ongoing controversy, and uh, coming back to old-fashioned uh, football without VR, with uh, refs, with refs errors, uh, officials errors. Officiating is of course an arduous task, but uh, they are human beings. They are not robots. So it's we we can contemplate a mistake, an error from our referee, but we cannot contemplate, we cannot deal with, we, we cannot uh, we cannot take at all um, a, a, a a mistake, an error uh, made by his own arrogance. This is uh, this is atrocious. I have to, to admit that I cannot uh, continue persisting and persevering with this with this video recording, uploading this video because uh, I'm sick and tired of saying all the same bullshit time and again.